Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And as you are watching this video, it is probably Tuesday, and you know what that means. That means it's pick time. So I'm going to do the week nine picks. So let's recap where we are right now. In week eight, I was 10 and 5. And that means that overall, I am 72 and 49 with a 595 winning percentage. So it is inching towards the 60% mark. Um, although, a friend of mine told me that even 60%, you're still wearing a dunce hat. So, I don't know. Um, but, I know I want to at least get as high as I can. And the next landmark would seem to be 60%. So, yeah, 10 and 5 last week. Um, Steelers coming through for me on Monday Night Football and beating the uh, Dolphins. So, without further ado, and the, the helmets are back this week, you know, by popular demand, really not at all, because nobody actually said anything about whether they like the slideshow over the helmets. But anyway, they're back because I'm back. And, um... My helmets are here at home where I'm making the picks. So, we got the first game Thursday night. Um, and the Thursday night game is the 49ers and the Cardinals. You can see the smaller helmet is the Cardinals. Cardinals are at home. But guess what? The 49ers are undefeated. So, yeah. Get out of here with the Cardinals. So, yeah. I mean, uh, the Niners are undefeated. I'm, I'm not going against that. Then you got the uh, the uh, Texans and the Jags. The smaller helmet, the Jags. Take the Texans. Even though the Jags are at home, I'm going with the Texans. So now the next game we have is the Bills and the Redskins. And the Bills will be home in this one. The Redskins with the smaller helmet. The Bills have been a little inconsistent and started to worry me a little bit, but they're playing the Redskins. So I don't think there's anything to really worry about there if you're a Bills fan. The next one we have is the Panthers and the Titans. You can see the Titans are the small helmet, and the Panthers are at home in this one. So I'm going to go with the Panthers. Yeah, take the Panthers. I think that they, um, I mean, again, they're kind of an inconsistent team, and they have their backup quarterback playing, but, you know, so are the Titans. So, And, and the Panthers are at home, so I'm going to go with them. So now here we have another matchup, which is, now if you remember last week, Kansas City played the Green Bay Packers, which was a rematch of Super Bowl One. And guess what we have this week? We have a rematch of Super Bowl Four, and the uh, the Vikings are visiting the Chiefs. But I'm still going with the Vikings, who didn't actually win Super Bowl Four. It was actually the Chiefs. But go with the Vikings in 2019. And. Uh, yeah, over the uh, over the Chiefs. So that's another Super Bowl. That's another early day Super Bowl matchup. Twice in a row for two weeks in a row for Kansas City. I don't know if the schedule makers did that intentionally or what, but uh, hey. And now the next one we have is the... Um, I'm going to go with the Jets over the Dolphins, even though the Dolphins are at home. The Dolphins are a wreck. They're a complete wreck. The Jets, well, you know, the Jets aren't very good. But, yeah, let's go with the Jets because, uh, you know, they've got Darnold and they did beat Dallas. Somehow they beat Dallas and the Dolphins have somehow not beaten anyone. So now the next game, this one really, this one kind of pains me to say this even though I've got my Bears shirt on. But yeah, I'm going to go with the Eagles over the Bears. Not only, yeah, take the Eagles, <laughs> get the Bears out of here. Not only are the Eagles at home, 
but and and they're inconsistent, but they can at least score points. And apparently the Bears are having a problem doing that. Regardless of how good their defense plays, even if you hold the other team to a field goal, you got to score at least a field goal or a touchdown. The next game I'm going to do is the Lions over the Raiders. Now the Raiders are at home. But I'm still going to go with the Lions. I think the the Lions have been kind of impressive this this um, this year. They're a lot better than their record shows. If you watch them play, I've seen um, I've seen parts of some of their games. They really are a little more impressive than what their record shows them to be. The next one we have is the Seahawks at home playing the Buccaneers. You can see the smaller helmet is the Buccaneers, so I'm going to go with the Seahawks in this one. Even though, again, we have another inconsistent team that really lets you down sometimes when in a game that you think they should easily win. I really hate when these teams do that to me, but I'm going to go with the Seahawks. They're at home. They're a better team. The Buccaneers are inconsistent, they're young, they make mistakes, and they're on the road. Now, we got a tough one here, and uh, this is the Broncos at home, and they're playing Cleveland. And the bigger helmet, you can see, is the Broncos. I am going with the Broncos. It's not a confident pick, not by any means. But I think the Browns are just... They're a dumpster fire. I mean, their coach had, doesn't seem to have any idea what he's doing. And um, Baker Mayfield is not nearly as good as advertised. In fact, it, well, certainly he's not as good as he is in his own mind. So, yeah, there's that. Now, the next one we have is I'm going to go with the Packers over the Chargers. The Chargers are at home. But the Packers, I mean, they're just beating everybody. So, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? I'm, I mean, I don't... There's two things I don't know if I'm ever going to do for the rest of the season. Three things. There's three things I'm not so sure I'm going to do for the rest of the season. And that one is, um, is to pick against the, um, the New England Patriots. Two is to pick against the Packers. And three is to pick the Bears to win. Those are three things I don't think I'm going to be doing the rest of the season. Now, we'll see. We'll see how the schedule pans out and how, you know, what happens. Maybe the Bears can get a kicker and a quarterback and their defense can heal up and a whole bunch of other fantasy stuff can happen. But unless that fantasy stuff happens... I don't see the Bears winning another game. And that brings us to one of the games that we were that we were that I were one of the teams I was just mentioning, and that's the Patriots playing the Ravens. And the Ravens are home in this one, but yeah, you know, I mean, are you really gonna pick against the Patriots? And the answer is no. And I'm not. I mean, I can't name a team that I think could beat the Patriots. There isn't a team in the NFL that I think could beat the Patriots. So now we've got the last game. <clears throat> this will be next Monday's game. Cowboys and the Giants. The smaller helmet is the Giants, so I'm going with the Cowboys. But again, this is not a confident pick because the, pff, the Cowboys are like Jekyll and Hyde. One week they, they play like the Miami Dolphins, and then the next week they play like the Patriots. And you just don't know which week you're going to get that Patriots or you're going to get the Dolphins version of Dallas. So, but I'm going to go with Dallas there. Um, and then bye weeks for this, this uh, for week nine, will be by the Rams, the Saints, the Falcons, and the Bengals. And that's another thing I don't think I'm going to do is pick for the Bengals. I don't think the Bengals will win another game. I'm, or the, really, they haven't even won one. I don't think. So, and I don't see them winning one either. Unless they match up against one of those other teams like the Dolphins or the 
Redskins, but um, at, saving that that happens, then I don't even see the Bengals winning. So that would have been an easy pick if they had played this week. Probably it would have been an easy pick for me. Um, the Saints probably would have been an easy pick. They're another team I don't think I'll pick against unless they play like a real powerhouse like the Patriots or somebody like that. Um, because like like let's say the Patriots played the Saints. No, I'm still going with the Patriots. So anyway, uh, those are my picks for this week. Trying to get back to 60%. Would really love to do another 10 and 5. At least another 10 and 5. Maybe an 11 and 4 would be nice. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the um, comments below. If you have your own, there's a group of guys out there did their own picks and they put a link in um, the comments and I watched their video. So if you want to do that, put your own picks together, I'll watch. Maybe you'll convince me that I'm wrong. Maybe not too, but uh, we'll see. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, ring the bell so that you know when I'm coming out with new videos and uh, for right now it's Sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off.